Hello viewers, we are at the Spoken Fest. This festival is unlike any other festival that has been happening in the state. This is a festival of words, a, a festival of poets, artists, storytellers coming together to express their form of art. We are here, uh, which is happening here at Watts Lake, Shillong. And we are here to go around and take a tour of this beautiful setup that they have set up here. They've called this the Revive Stage and we will take you around. The Spoken Festival in Shillong was a potent occasion for aspiring writers and poets alike to show off their literary skills. The Spoken Festival, which was organized by Commune with support from the Mikhalia Tourism Department, was inaugurated by State Tourism Minister Paul Lingdor at Watts Lake in Shillong on Friday. The two-day festival, which concluded on Friday, provided an effective platform to budding poets and writers to express their narratives before the public who too enjoyed unfiltered stories firsthand. The festival also focused on the state's rich oral tradition of storytelling. The Spoken Festival in Shillong was a potent occasion for aspiring writers and poets alike to show off their literary skills. The Spoken Festival, which was organized by Commune with support from the Mikhalia Tourism Department, was inaugurated by State Tourism Minister Paul Lingdor at Watts Lake in Shillong on Friday. The two-day festival, which concluded on Friday, provided an effective platform to budding poets and writers to express their narratives before the public who too enjoyed unfiltered stories firsthand. The festival also focused on the state's rich oral tradition of storytelling. That's why stories are important for all of us. सोच कर देखो हम हर दिन जो जी रहे हैं आपकी खुद की किताब मैं आप एक नया पन्ना ऐड करते चलते हो एंड टच वुड जिस दिन फाइनली मरोगे उस दिन आखिर एक फुल स्टॉप लग चुका होगा एंड एंटायर बुक विल बी आउट हां या ना सो यू नो वी स्टार्टेड दिस मेनी इयर्स अगो वी स्टार्टेड कम्युन अराउंड 2017 इट वाज अ प्लेटफार्म टू प्रमोट यंग आर्टिस्ट वेदर दे वर राइटर्स और पोएट्स और म्यूजिशियंस um we started from bombay and then uh, suddenly over two years we became like extremely popular on youtube because uh, young people were telling their stories and people loved that uh, and then poetry was also something which they loved to express themselves in um so that's how commune started and then after about uh, you know 2017 i remember when we had about 100000 people on our page we were like maybe people would like to come and gather so we did our first festival in bombay and that had like some 5 7000 people who turned up for the very first one no i think i think see the important thing is that uh, we have 23 city chapters uh, we in fact starting our shillong chapter also now uh, here is where every 15 days young poets and artists meet and we take their best work and we make it go in front of well known directors writers publishing houses uh, so this is also an attempt to come here and tell the young writers and the young poets that you have space uh, you know across the world today if you see there is a poet laureate in america when the last president was being uh, you know sworn in they started with a poem done by a 23 year old girl 
um, I think that young people have got a lot to say and honestly I think that Shillong, uh, this entire region has also got some exceptional voices and that's why we've been, our curation team has been here meeting up with so many people and getting them here. Uh, so you'll see a lot of local talent which will be performing on stage and of course a lot of talent from across India that we've got as well. So I think that's the whole point of Spoken Fest, isn't it? To bring those arts and those art forms which are not that popular in that area, right? But stories, think, come, come to think of it, think about it. Stories is what make us who we are, right? All of us are just stories and nothing else. Every single story which you have heard since, you're, since you were a small little child made you who you are right now. Am I wrong? No. no. So every story is important to all of us and stories are important to everybody who is listening to this interview right now. So it's just that if the stories are being presented in a good manner, then it actually interests you a lot. So that's what we try to do at Spoken Fest and me particularly, we just try to narrate stories in such a manner that it resonates with you, it relates with you. Can you feel about that? Like so many people are trying stand-up comedy these days and everybody wants to be a stand-up comedian. It's because of two reasons. One, it's fun. Secondly, it pays well. Storytelling is going to be there, it's actually reaching that heights now. So for next 10 years, it's just my prediction, it's going to be about storytelling. We need more storytellers and more musicians in this country right exactly. now. Podcast is very much flourishing these days. Exactly, podcast is one of those uh, ways of doing storytelling and storytelling for that, uh, you'll see so many good artists today on Spoken uh, Fest stage. Jinko aapne dekha, you know all of them but you've never heard of them. Yeah. And now you'll be able to understand that all of them are so skilled and so talented and they are making good money, I'll be very honest. So yes, storytelling can be a really fruitful profession for you. It's a little unconventional but that's how life is, right? You've got to try new stuff to find who you are. So yes, you should try storytelling. Uh, well, I have done Spoken Fest only once in my life. This is just the second time. So, And the first time that I did it, it was so nice because it's... You know, it's always a fantastic lineup of artists. Everyone has their own stories to bring. And the audience especially, they're so welcoming. They're so warm. They just, they're just there to support you and to listen to whatever you have to say. So I've always loved the audience during Spoken Fest. Um, wow, I don't know if there's a science behind content creation, but for me, it's about just putting out what I feel is funny and then hoping that people will also find it funny. Humor is yeah, like hoping that we connect. Because I know humor is subjective, but luckily I've been so fortunate that there are a lot of people who connect with my humor. And um, I, I have a lot of funny followers because sometimes with these, I get these comments from my followers and like really funny, intelligent, witty comments. And I, I feel so proud, like, wow, I have such smart people following me and all of that. We have so many artists from this region, from the Northeastern region, and I feel people should get to know I mean like I'm sure for um, a lot of the people who have traveled from other cities here today they're gonna like they're gonna see a lot of the musicians and be blown away you know it's and especially I mean when you think of Shillong when you think of Meghalaya you, the first thing that comes to your head is the music and the music is the music is on another level here and even though I'm not from Meghalaya, I feel proud to show up like, yeah, this is from like my region of the country. Look at how good these people are and all of that. Yeah. So it's a great way of um, showing off to other people the amount of talent we have here. So viewers, you've seen that we've had a conversation with the festival director Roshan Abbas. Artists like Laksh who've had a wonderful and very lively conversation with the Northeast Media Hub. We've also watched performance of Elena as well as the wonderful poem written by Vancouver Shulai. The Meghalaya is known for many festivals here in the state. Spoken Fest seems to be one of the festivals that will be taking center stage in the histories of festivals here in 